Hello and welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. In these difficult financial times, it's tough enough to stay afloat, let alone think about saving for the future. And with us now is Jose Solario, an assemblyman who represents Anaheim Garden Grove, Santa Ana. Thank you so much for being here. No, no, it's great to be back. Now, one of the things that you're proposing here to talk about is an assembly bill that would sponsor what's called the Golden Dream Account. Now, what is that? You know, we have a situation where uh, in our state it's so easy to borrow and spend. You know, we got credit cards, we got payday loans, we had home equity loans, subprime mortgage uh, rates that made it easy to, to, to spend and borrow. Tonight, today is a good time to start thinking about how we save for the future. Uh, and many uh, employees, if they work for a large company, they may have an IRA or 401k program, but a lot of normal workers, about six million in the state, have no opportunities for individual saving. Well, yeah, we want to really change changing. that. It's really changing now in that people don't work for the same company for a really long time, don't really have pensions. They don't offer sometimes pensions to all of its workers. So it sounds like this is something to bridge the gap between uh, your personal savings and what may or may not be offered on the job. Yeah, you know, we found that through research that, you know, Social Security is there and there will be a little bit hopefully in the future for us, but we found that the most successful thing that can be done is through your own uh, employment that there be an opportunity for you to take deductions, regular deductions out of your paycheck for savings through an individual retirement account. So the key is making that portable so that as you go from company to company, you can still have that opportunity. This bill, AB 2940, uh, authored by Assemblymember Kevin DeLeon, would help to do that. Uh, that way it's, it's portable, there'd be deductions. The employer could also match that contribution also if they chose to. Uh -huh. What would the advantage be for the employer to match the contributions? Well, you know, the, the large employers have the wherewithal to create their own uh, savings programs for their employees, but the smaller mom and pop shops don't. Uh, this would create a program through CalPERS, our state pension system, to create a program that small businesses, individual employees, could tap into through the regular uh, payroll deduction programs in place. Now, this is something we could do for ourselves right now. We could each go out and invest wherever we want to invest to save for our future. So why would we want something like this? Yeah. Well, you know, r right now in, an individual can go to a bank or can go to uh, a security company and start something on their own. But again, it's been too difficult. Right now what we know is 41% of workers in the state have no savings program. Uh, but by doing it through your employer so that at a very paycheck they take a little bit out that they put towards saving, that makes it easy. Uh, it goes with you. You don't need to go somewhere and write a separate check or, or do anything uh, separate than just co collect your paycheck with a little bit less, but that little bit's going to grow into a lot in, 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 in the savings account. Yeah, so the effect to the work would be the same as what we see taken out for Social Security and for other taxes and things. Now, who is this uh, available? Who would this be available for, too? This would be available to all employers in the state. Uh, as well as all em employees, uh, the the bill would authorize CalPERS to create this program, uh, with the goal again being that uh, employees statewide would have an opportunity through their employer to start saving for the future. Mm -hmm. um, would you have to have a Social Security card to invest in this sort of? Uh... Well, the, the people would have to have proper employment, and you know we all apply for a job, and we all have to. You know, but provide the the social security number. So definitely, people with social security numbers uh, would would be required. Uh -huh. Now you're saying that uh, the Wall Street's not crazy about this idea. Why would that be? Well, Wall Street sometimes thinks, well, we have these current uh, you know companies in place that can offer programs like this. But again, what we've seen in our state is that 41 percent of all workers don't have. A savings account, and so this would create a, a new program, started by a state government program, but ultimately we would be working with Wall Street and their mutual fund company. So it's really a public-private partnership that I think pays dividends. And the thought being that if we all save, it makes it better off for all of us in the long run. Correct. All right. Thank you very much, Jose Solario, and thank you for tuning in.